Thanks for joining me for another ball review. This one is for the new Belmo Ball, the Storm Pro Motion. Now, I fully converted to the Storm Vector layout system, so my layout for this ball is 5x5x3, five by five by which puts the pin over my ring finger. It looked good for Steve Klompkin and Alex Hoskins in their video for the Pro Motion that they put up on Storm's YouTube channel, so I went with it. Also, I went for a bit more balance in this video. Here at Westridge, we're on the regular house shot, but when we move to Gage, we'll be on the 2018 USBC Open Championships team pattern. So we'll get a couple different looks and a more well-rounded idea of what this ball does. For the details, the ProMotion features the Spec Solid cover, which was recently launched on the Crux Prime, and the newly designed Piston Core, which separates this ball quite a bit from the previous two Belmo balls, the Timeless and the Drive. The differential is similar, but the RG is much lower, which makes it more rolly and helps it rev up more. And the spec cover stock is much different than either of the covers from the previous two. Now, whether you liked or disliked the Timeless and the Drive, that doesn't matter or apply here because the ProMotion shares absolutely zero in common with either of them reaction-wise, and I think that's already pretty obvious. Now, full disclosure, I wasn't a fan of either of the previous Belmo balls. I thought the drive was better than the Timeless, but neither of them had any real use for me. It's a completely opposite experience with the ProMotion. It feels like a combination of the Phase 2, the Idol, and the IQ Tour Solid, or at least it's in the same vein. It's not as early as the Idol, it's not as slow down lane as the IQ Tour, and it's every bit as versatile as the Phase 2, maybe even more so. But it's big on control, it's big on continuation, and its biggest strength comes from the spec cover. It seems to take all the best things from those other balls and combines them. The cover reads the lane itself better than any other cover I've used, so it blends the pattern incredibly well. It's not nearly as sensitive to transition as other balls, and it's more resistant to performance loss due to a much slower oil absorption rate compared to traditional reactives, as well as a feature called chemical adhesion that helps it to really blend the lane out. So this all adds up to make it one of the most consistent and readable balls I've ever thrown. On a live stream from Bowl Expo, Belmo was talking with Chad McLean and said, I know how this is going to sound, but this may be the best ball I've ever thrown. In my opinion, it's not hype. He's not blowing smoke. You're going to see these everywhere. You don't have to take his word for it or my word for it. Just watch Flow Bowling, Bowl TV, and the shows on TV. Now, comparing it to some of these other big-name tournament balls like the Idol in Phase 2, they're still pretty obvious studs. The Idol's earlier and actually pretty boomy on the back end when there's enough volume up front, but you got to have the head oil or it can burn up, and due to the nano in the cover, it's going to be straighter off the end of the pattern. So it doesn't like to get in much past fourth arrow. It's basically it's your prototypical heavy oil ball, and when it has that oil, it's very good. The Phase 2 has been the standard for tournament balls for the last couple years. Chris Prather gravitates towards it quite a bit, and it's on TV for both the men and the women very often. Now, even with the pin down layout I have on mine, it can be just a little too quick down lane from straighter angles, but that's typically where the idol shines, provided, of course, you have the oil. Now, the Phase 2 definitely prefers to play a little more lane when you can roll it more. The Pro Motion steps in to both control straighter angles like the idol and get every bit as deep with a sweeter roll as the Phase 2. It's also a great complement to the Crux Prime. They're different shapes, but have a very familiar feel due to the unmistakable reaction characteristics of the spec cover. The Prime is even better at controlling angles, but it's pretty slow on the back end and can be too flat on carry down or when the reaction's soft down lane. This makes it great for something like the Nationals team pattern that we're going to see at Gage, but not so much on the doubles and singles pattern where the Pro Motion looks good on both. Now moving to Gage and the 2018 Nationals team pattern, it's more the same. This is a very tough, unforgiving pattern with an incredibly small amount of room left to right. With the ProMotion on the fresh, I have nearly three boards at the break point, and that's enough to make you wonder if you're even bowling on the right condition. Now, trying to get cute and flag them on right in the ditch will quickly answer that question. The gray boards definitely don't hook, but this is as good a look as I've seen or better on this pattern. It's just undeniably impressive. Obviously, just about everything will look great if you throw it hard enough and put enough revs on it, but this is a demanding pattern. Speed and revs can actually be a detriment. You just have to be accurate. Now, this is a three- to four-year-old lane surface with perfect topography. It's the same surface you see at Nationals every year, and they have a very good lane machine and a great mechanic here, so I can always get a true read on a pattern at this center. As usual, I'm not going to do the typical staffer stuff and say it's a must-have or you have to run right out and pre-order one, but I am going to give you my opinion in this case, and I'm definitely not going anywhere without one or four of these. The Prime, Idle Phase 2, and Idle Pearl will always be along for the ride as well. There aren't any laws of physics being broken here. 
but I don't see another reaction on the market like it, and the added benefit is, again, with regular cleaning and maintenance, the reaction and performance is going to hold up much better over time than traditional reactives. The reaction for my Crux Prime has held up extremely well. Think what you will about staffer bias and Belmo trying to advertise this product and go to all the demos you like and take all the time you need vetting this ball, but the promotion is as legit as legit gets. It's a smooth, continuous tournament ball, so higher speed, lower rev games may not see much shape out of it, and it's definitely going to hook plenty for the opposite. If you've got a lot of revs and slower speed, you're going to need a lot of oil. But if you come to me asking about a ball for college or a sport league or nationals or tournaments, this one's going to get recommended a lot. Now, if you're, if you're still carrying around the other balls I mentioned and decide not to get one of these, you're still going to be in good shape. I just think if that's the case, you're going to eventually end up with one of these because the reaction characteristics it shares with them and the look it has on the lanes. I think it's one of those lightning in a bottle type balls like the High Road and the Phase 2. Uh, some people won't match up with them naturally, but for the vast majority of everyone else, you can't deny the success that's been had with those balls, and I believe the promotion is on that level and will end up having that type of reputation. The promotion releases July 26th. It's not the Belmo Ball of the past. There's no hype train or big sales push. There's just results. And I'm as impressed with this ball as I've been with anything Storm or Roto's put out in the five years since I've been with the company. It's such an incredible amount of fun to throw, and the performance really is unreal. Thanks for watching.